Johnny Vaughan. Yes! And this is Steve Brooker, also known as Mud God. I actually want to change history. Steve and his sidekick Rock are part of a licensed group of amateur archaeologists known as Mudlarks. Hey, hey. Ah. They scour Britain's foreshores, searching not for buried treasure, but hidden history. They've agreed to share with me their decades of knowledge and experience. Come here, man. I love that. Our adventures on the foreshore will propel us on historical quests that range from the sublime... Whoa! Yes! ...to the painful... Who the line that? Stay in the line! ...to the downright disgusting... <laughs> ...as we become... This week, we're on the River Medway in Kent. We're digging up over 400 years of history next to Chatham's famous naval dockyard. Big League hot and cold, right here on history. Big League. Hey, look at that. Bit of hand grenade. We discover Britain's illustrious military past. Hey, hey. And what's that, First World War? Yeah, yeah, First World War. And our finds from the Medway's foreshore send us back to the Great War. Ah! Ah! Once again, we've moved away from the River Thames and we've come to the historic naval town of Chatham. A royal dockyard was established here in 1567 by Queen Elizabeth I and became the military's principal naval base. Such was its importance that in 1559, Upnor Castle was built to protect the dockyard from attack. Fast forward 400 years to World War I, and it's one of the Navy's three manning ports with 205 manned ships. That's a third of the Royal Navy allocated to the Chatham Division. With so much nautical activity happening here over such a big period, we should have rich pickings on the foreshore. i better find Steve. Steve! Oh, conditions are good. <laughs> I know. <laughs> It doesn't get much worse. <laughs> it doesn't, does it? <laughs> so where are we today? So we're in Chatham today. On the Medway on for the Medway, a change. Yeah. Get away for the Thames for a while. Yeah, it makes a change, doesn't it? We've got, there's up in our castle there, which is just there to the left, medieval, so yeah. might be some medieval might finds. Might be some bits. Obviously, we're at the site there, famous naval port. Yeah, of course, you've got Chatham docks. Yeah. Really historical, yeah? yeah. You know, we can have stuff from the 1600s. They've build, been building ships there since the 1600s. Yeah, right. But yeah, because that's some really good finds. It could be good, could be good. Could Fingers be good. crossed. Have you done much on the Medway? I've never done the Medway. The River Medway became important to the Royal Navy and was used to harbour warships because of its strategic location in the southeast of England, near to the North Sea. So with all those military ships docked here over the last 400 years, we're bound to have some great finds. First find, and it's a good find. It's a, uh, we get a lot of it on the uh, Thames itself. It's green glaze, uh, but what's really nice about it, and I've never had a piece before, it's got a decoration on it, there's like a flower decoration. Now I can date this, I know this starts in like the 1500s upwards. We've got up in the castle just here. Maybe this came from there, who knows? But, good little start. Hard to find because of the colouring down here, everything is green. So, good find, first one of the day. Hopefully there's more. I don't believe it. Hey, look at that. Bit of hand grenade. Sort of looks like a pineapple shape with all the ridges on here. Second World War, possibly First World War. That's a great find. Now, let's see if there's any more. Rock's metal detector should come in very handy today because it's hard to find all those hidden historical gems amongst all the shingle. But I like a challenge, so I'm going by eye. All right. Is this in your boat? <laughs> I didn't fit in the boat. <laughs> It get, you, know, you, you get to 50 and it's either a classic car, Yeah. next thing down, yeah, boat. What do you reckon? Yeah, it needs a bit of work doing to it, though. Oh, look. Oh. The in-house bar. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. What you had up, do you think? I have, actually. What you got? Look at that. <laughs> hey! 
Well done. There's a lot of military down There's here. There's a lot of military down here, yeah. And I think so. just a lot of stuff gets dumped down yeah. there. But yeah, good find, though. That's good. What do you reckon? First World War, Second World War? I'd probably say second on yeah, that. Yeah, I guess second, I reckon. You all showed up. Oh, just a little military button. I think that's a general service button. And what's that, First World War? Yeah, First World War. Actually, I think they crossed over First and Second World War. But there might be something specific on there to tell you if it was definitely first or definitely second. I don't know, but maybe an expert might be to tell us. But good find, though, very good find. Yeah. Well, I'm going to check out that down right, there. Cool, I'm going to head off down this way. Catch you later. See you in a bit, eight cheers. So with some nice military pieces already in the bucket, the pressure is on Vaughny to come up with some great finds. All right, Steve. <laughs> How are you? I just thought I'd add a bit of a flourish. Mud moon. Mud moon, mud moon. Mud moon. Party! Party! Hey, we're going to have a funky good time. Okay. Medway? Yeah. Up in the castle. Yeah. The historical docks over there have chatted. I know. I know. Good finds here today. What we got? It's very windy, Steve, which adds to the whole sort of extreme thing I've seen on other channels. Well, it's been raining as well. We've had really bad weather and the wind. I mean, you really can't breathe. Finished? Yeah. Military stuff coming up left, You'll right, centre. You'll have to center. speak up. I said military stuff coming up left, right and centre. You've had loads, have you? Well, I've had a bit, Rock's had a bit. Nice. But I have something for you. Go on. I've got to find it first. Ready? Yeah. That's for you. From the heart. Can I open it up? Well, what do you think it is first? It's made of lead. Well, it's pewter. The pewter? Made yeah. of pewter? No, go on, open it up. Can I keep it? Yeah, once it's gone to the museum, you can have it. What do you mean once it's gone to the museum? Is it that good? Any idea yet? It's a spit of spoon. It's a spoon bowl. Now, look really carefully, cos I've just spotted it as you've opened it out. Yeah, it's got a little hallmark thing there. Yeah, we can tell what age it is. Now, remember, yeah, if you find a spoon on the foreshore, don't do what I'm doing or anything. This is a busted spoon, it's just a bowl, yeah? But what we're going to do, yet yeah, is we shall bend it together... Yeah. ..into the shape of the bowl. Can I say, Steve, what you just did? I mean, what were you, what were you trying to say there? Was it like... Like, my kids watch wrestling and they go... Some of the moves and stunts attempted by the wrestlers should not be attempted by you at home. We are hard professionals. Are you trying to do that with straightening a spoon? What I've just done, then, you should not Look. attempt at home. If you should find a folded pewter spoon. Do not attempt to open that. Steve is a professional. What? I thought it was really nice of me, yeah, that I would normally open this up yeah. just to see if there's one. And thanks. I saved it for oh, you. Oh, no, thanks. It's really nice. Can I put it in my bucket? Of course you can. So I've got something. OK, Steve, um, I'm going to go off on my own for a bit. Oh, no, not Lone Wolf. Yeah, Lone Wolf, off. Lone Wolf. Oh. Obviously, I'm a legendary Lone Wolf of the foreshore. Uh, I've got quite a reputation for coming up with the goods on a number of occasions. A lot of people talk about that in the uh, pubs and bars uh, throughout the uh, Medway and Thames, indeed, as far as well as Plymouth, uh, Poland. Uh, we've got an amazing reputation for coming up with the goods, an extraordinary rep. An amazing man. I saw a bullet, <laughs> and it's all the same colour, yeah? I got one new detector over this somewhere. Let's have a look, yeah? have a look, see if we can find it. See, this shows how bad it is down here, yeah? I've spotted something, so as I've scraped out, I've spotted it, yeah? Because of the colouring, yeah, I can't see anything at all. So what will run his detector over it? Behave. And look, it's really good. Right. Oh, that's got some age to it, isn't it? That's the one that has the old uh, wooden core in it, isn't it? That's it, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Very good, mate. Good fun, huh? Yeah, cool. But without the detector, it would have been lost. Another bit of shrapnel. Just run your fingers along the edge there. Feel how sharp that is. Yeah, yeah. Really sharp. Lethal, eh? If that hit you, that, that comes down from 5,000 feet, yeah? It I'm, kills you I'm instantly. Totally, totally. Anything else? I'm doing well for buttons today. And that's my little tasty button so far. Look at that's that. That's quite nice. Yeah. Raw Marines. There we go. The little anchor on there as well. Yeah, well done. Good find, though. Really good eh? find. Really good. Really good find. Just to go in my bucket like Vaughn does. No, I'm having that back. Thank you very much. That was a good find. Yeah, right. I'm going to find some more. I think it's time to admit that I, Lone Wolf, might be having a little difficulty today. So I'm going to get some advice from Steve. I mean, you're not going to see anything in there, are you? Don't just point and go, she, you're not going to see anything. That's just, just self-defeating, Steve. What do we always approach this, the, 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 the foreshore with? Optimism. Hope that one day we'll serve up some decent television.
What? What? You, is it hot or colder? Because I yeah, love yeah, that yeah, cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to play? Yeah, I'll play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, I tell you, it's so hard. So it's within here, here, and here. Can you see it? But it's really hard to find. Oh, I love this. The tension of the hot and cold. Big league hot and cold. Right here on History. Big league. Come in and get an aerial shot here. Just come in and see what I'm looking at. And we'll get the unveiling because, look, this is no Come in behind me and actually get my vision of this. Okay, here you go. This is what I'm seeing. This is, you're getting Vaughn E POV, point of Vaughn. It's really hard. I nearly lost it again then. <laughs> Don't poke me in the eye. <laughs> is it round here? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't know. Play at home if you want to. Play at home. Here's the shot. We'll give you a still. Freeze it. Just pause it. Because I think at home they're probably, they're probably quite into a bit of playing Mud Men at home. It's time for the Mud Men Frame Game. That's what I'm seeing. Come in, come in, come in. Look. So it's here. No, 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 no. Yeah. It's, it's really showing up now. You can okay, really okay. see it. OK, OK. Now, apparently, now, it's really showing up. Look, look. So I'm being serious, right? There's your view here. Just come in here. You're getting the same view as me. Now, if you're watching at home, here's what I suggest you do, yeah? We're going to give you a really good, high-definition shot of exactly what I'm looking at, yeah? Press pause and see if you can take on the Mud Men Challenge live and exclusive at home. Here we go. It's in that area there. There you go. Jung, 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 jung. Press pause now. Can you see it? We'll reveal the identity of this hidden historical gem after the break. See you then. Me, mud god Steve Brooker, and his psychic rock have been mudlarking on the River Medway in Chatham, Kent. We're next to the illustrious naval dockyards, and so there's over 400 years of military history ready to be found. Hey. Hey. And what's that, First World War? Yeah, First World War. And before the break, we asked you to play along at home and see if you could spot the hidden historical gem. So once again, enjoy the Mud Men Frame Game. Is it round here? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, and I'm only telling you this time, yeah, because I don't want to lose it again. OK, go on. It's in that little square, little circle yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, There's the shot. No, 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 I've no. seen it, I've seen it, I've well, seen right, it. You've seen it, yeah? I've yeah. lost it because you picked it up, you flicked it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know where it is. You can play it with me now. No, Steve, I can tell you exactly where it is. If you want to yeah, come yeah, over yeah, my yeah, shot yeah. and have a look, it's right here. <laughs> there it is. You got it. Well, what is it? It is. Oh, it looks good. Oh, it, look, it's a sailor's. It's got an anchor on it. It's, it's a button. It's very thin, I think very old. And look, you can see there, you've got the anchor coming down. That's got to be 18th. Has it? Well, look, it's pewter, isn't it, as well? Yeah. You're right, Rocco. How are Hello, you, mate? All right, mate. Yeah, how you doing? Not too bad. We were going to call you down a second ago, actually. Look. A cool, look very at old naval button. I know you love your buttons, That's don't you? That's lovely, that is. What you had out, anything? Excellent. Just a couple more bullets. Yeah? Yeah. What is it? That's, that's bigger. That's a big one. Is it, it is. from Martini Henry? Yeah. yeah. Is it? Yeah. I didn't know they went down as deep as that. Yeah. It's a big old beast. Well, I've only ever seen the whole thing. I've, I mean, I've, I've fired them. I've never actually... Nice find, then, because right. that's... Well, that's, 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 that's... They stopped using those Boar War. Yeah. So, yeah. Listen, I'm going to leave you chaps to it, because I'm going to go find some more. <laughs> See you See later, Rocky. Oh, we've got some tide coming in here, Sven. I've got scum all over me. I'm going to go off on my own for a bit. Catch you later. See you later, Steve. This fantastic naval button I've just found must have ties to Chatham's Royal Dockyards. And it's made me hungry to find out more about this area's great military heritage. So, I've left Stephen Rock foraging away on the foreshore, and not without good reason. I've come here to the historic naval dockyard here in Chatham, where I'm going to talk to Richard Holdsworth, who apparently knows everything there is to know about Chatham's rich naval history. The Royal Dockyards provided the Navy with the facilities it required to build, repair and maintain the fleet. At its height, just after the Second World War, it employed thousands of skilled workers and covered 600 acres. 
Hello there, Richard. I'm Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Nice to meet you. Yeah, lovely to meet you. So why is Chatham such, a, such an important site in, in British naval history? Well, Chatham Dockyard was a Royal Naval Dockyard from the 15, 1570s right the way through to 1984. And in its time, it was both the Navy's fleet base in the, seven, in the 16th and 17th centuries, and then in the 18th and 19th centuries, the principal shipbuilding and repair yard, building, repairing, maintaining the ships of the Royal Navy. Why did it end? When the big dreadnought battleships arrived, Chatham was too small, the river was too small to launch them into, and it took on a new specialism in the 20th century, yeah. which is building submarines. Okay. And Chatham built 57 submarines in 54 years, and uh, it really sort of gave it a new lease of life for the 20th century and a, and a role in two world wars. A lot of ships came out of here in World War I, didn't they? They were still being built here. Ships were being built and repaired here. The thing about dockyards in wartime is that they tend to concentrate much more on repair and maintenance yeah. and refit. So you see this shift of of ships being built in private yards in wartime and repaired in the Royal Yards. So Chatham in the First World War was really concentrating on supporting the naval ships and fleet that were operating in the North Sea. But there's still 12 and submarines coming out of the, here and 18 the, ships were actually the, built here. There's lots of shipbuilding, but an incredible number of refits and repairs. Okay. If you roll it forward to the Second World War, Chatham did something like 1,360 refits and repairs yeah. in a five-year period. An enormous amount of activity. Richard, it's been lovely talking to you. Thank you for giving me such a good rough guide to Chatham and its 400-odd and its years of history. I've got to go back to Steve and Rock on the foreshore. Thank nice you very you. much for talking to me. Cheers. Cheers. Take care. Cheerio. Bye. Whoa. Yo. What you got? Oh, yeah, look at that. That's nice. Is it a little cat badge or something? Yeah, it could be cat badge or lapel badge or something like that. Intelligence court? Yeah, that's probably Second World War, yeah, but yeah, that could be first it as could well. Be first, couldn't it? What do you reckon to that? Have you seen one of those before? We moved before firing. Yeah. Well, military again? Well, yeah, I think I know what that is. Yeah, I'm pretty right. sure what I think it's Second World War, but I think that's the base to a mortar grenade. Is it? Yeah, yeah. You have to remove it. That, that then shows the pin. Yeah. Off it goes. Yeah. Lots of, you know, maybe they were, you know, they were bringing, I don't know, munitions down here. And just like, exploding them down it's here. It's either that, yeah. I mean, a lot of testing maybe would be a good place to do it, wouldn't it? Well, there's nobody around or no. anything. Good or, find, though. or like you say, it could just be a dumping ground, just a place yeah, to get yeah. rid of stuff at the end of the war. Good oh, find, though. Yeah, very good. Well done. See you in a bit. See you later. Steve! Steve, I'm back! I'm back, everyone! I'm back! Come. Come on. I know I've been away for a couple of hours and you've been working away, but it is getting late. Would you say, and I'm just going to run this by you, I'm not married to it yet. Okay. I've heard of these places, pubs. Pubs? Should we, should we try I've never heard of one. I, well, I, apparently one, there are quite a few around here. Let's see if we can't I'm go into... I'm, I'm prepared to try it. Let's go and experiment with some ale in a responsible way. <laughs> so how do you say it? Pub. 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 I like that. I mean, we can just have a look around. I've just heard about these places. I'm just quite intrigued. After four pints and a bag of nuts, it's finds time. 